everybody. Before I start today, before I tell you what we're going to be doing, I want to show you the dry, um, this is the espresso pour. I'm not sure what number it is, but I love it. It turned out great. And, um, this was a pour over a previous canvas painting, I mean, um, but the white, it's so smooth. It turned out really well. I do like that one. Those aren't usually colors that I gravitate towards, but I really like it. All right, so let's get you. Trying to get it so you're close, but if I move the canvas, you still see what's going on. So, this was painted blue because remember there for a while I was going to do in my bathroom, I think, like a blue, I did that um, magenta negative space pour, and then I did the orange, and then I was like, then I'm going to do a blue. So. I have since um, put in other paintings of mine in the bathroom that look really good and I decided I didn't like this idea anyways. So, but I had already painted it blue. So I am going to do a mallet smash and instead of the white for the first time I'm going to do black. I have done a black negative space flip and drag but never a pour. So this black is a combination of, um, oh, it's hard to read. It just says Artist Acrylic Value Series. That's empty. So it was a little bit of that, and there's a smidge left in like those two ounce craft paints, and then Artist Loft Metallic Black. So it's those and Floetrol and water. Um, I mixed it thicker than usual because the last I just did a painting, a mallet smash, the video before this, and the white was thicker and it turned out really well and I couldn't tilt it because it was so thick I couldn't even tilt it, which that I wasn't you know, keen on, but and yes, I am using forks because I found tons of forks in the house. And then I'm just soaking them and then I can just wipe and reuse and maybe I'll never have to buy um, stir sticks again, even though I still have like hundreds of them. So I am bum, 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 looking for, ah, I'm looking for the treadmill silicone. I do not have, I didn't put it in the black. Usually I don't. Put it in the base because if the silicone hits the canvas first it leaves bald spots. But I have painted this. So there is, eh, I'm still not going to. It's going to say so there, there is a layer but I'm going, this is white and pre-mixed from um, the last video which was pre-mixed, it was just sitting here. So stirring that silicone into here. Um, that's probably an awful lot because there wasn't much in here, so it was just one drop. So I'm going to do white. I don't even know if the red will show, but red, white, and black are always super cool. Um, so this, you can tell the silicone has risen to the top for some reason. There is like a white something in there. So I'm going to stir this all back together. This is a ton of different color reds. You can kind of see I've got magenta in here, a red in here, a metallic red in here. Um, and where's the lid? This one I made with a pouring medium. 
and treadmill silicone. So it's pouring meeting, Floetrol, water, and treadmill silicone. And, you know, I may use the fork actually to drop the paint. So I'm just gonna pour this. Maybe that is thick. Let me just use this to spread it too. No, that's not really gonna work. It's so thick though, God. <laughs> Maybe I should have thinned it a little bit more. It's so pretty with the um, the uh, little bit of that metallic. See if I can. Oh, it still move a little. That's good. It's like frosting. I'm not used to pouring black paint on a blue canvas. And I even turned my sticks on my tray upside down because I had just done a white painting and I didn't want to get the white paint accidentally all over this one. So even, even the bars are upside down. Yeah, this is super thick. Like molasses. It'll be good though because then the cells will, they certainly won't, um, Um, which, you know, spread away. I was trying to come up with the right word for that. But. I was trying to get it covered, though. I'm glad this wouldn't probably, this wouldn't work as well if the canvas is white. That well, then it would probably be good that my black paint was so thick because you would not want any white showing through. That wouldn't be a good look. With the white bald spots on it wouldn't be very attractive. Good. Um, there appears to be a lot of air bubbles, so I'm going to torch it first. That way, I'm not working with too many air bubbles. just because I do. It's even number looks odd and the canvas is too small for five. And I think I'm going to use the fork to drizzle that. Red may disappear. I'm not really sure. And I wasn't sure about it anyways. But all right. Where's my mouth? So here it goes. I wish I hadn't done the red. Because it's pink. I should have known better. Mm. No, it's alright. 
So it is, there are lots of indents from the mallet. The other one, the one I just did, I didn't use my finger to like fluff it back up at all because I was showing other paintings off. So while I was blathering on about that, but this looks like candy cane. I don't like it. So now I've got almost all of it. Now I've kind of malleted all of it off. Let's see what happens. Because maybe it will be cool with just kind of a ghostly look to it. So this is going to be mallet smash and tilt, as you can see. The cells alone weren't anything to write home about, so I am going to tilt it and get an interesting pattern that way. Um, it's harder to tilt because, as I said, that black paint was really thick. Well, this is perfect in time for Halloween because it kind of looks like spider webs. Hang on, I know I'm tilting it away from you, but I'm going to bring it back. I see like ghosts and spider webs. Now we see a deer head right up here. Somebody said that they don't see um, animals and shape or animals and people. They see like the shapes and colors, which I found so interesting because, um, and I am totally blanking on the word, but people that can see or see music and hear color, you know. Um, I've always found that so fascinating. So I thought that was interesting. Because she sees my paintings so much differently than I do. Um, that I just thought that was really cool. Because I always see human or animal forms. All right, we are at a standstill. This black is too thick. Um, I really can't tell what I feel about it. I am really unsure. to add more white. I'm tempted to do a swipe even though I suck at them. I'm tempted to wipe it all off. Start new. Or I could, the problem with, I, I can't like add more white and do, you know, how I do I get cover up by doing another flip and drag over it because this black is so thick that it's, it won't work very well. But oh, it's finally moving. So I think once I get this down here, and stretch it out so that it looks like smoke all over. That'll be cool. to get that off the edge. Just helping it off the edge. So, I don't know. It's 
it's kind of cool. This will probably, I wish I hadn't done the red because it turned pink. And I just see ghosts in it. Let's torch and see what happens, if anything. I look like a tattoo artist. My hand's all black. happened. Um, the torching made it a little more interesting. Some things are popping up. So what do you think? I... Oh my gosh, that is totally a person running with a cape or on a surfboard. And he's got glasses, see? Now here, the torch made it a little more interesting. Overall, I'm kind of meh on it. Um, I may add some colors to it. I'm not really sure. But um, oh, that time I did have my hand over my, my, my mouth, so I really was mumbling. Um, so I'm going to leave it for this. I may add some more after I turn the camera off, or I may turn the camera on and just let it roll while I messing with it not really sure but thank you so much for hanging out with me i love it when you when you join me bye i'm back i'm gonna mess with this some more um i don't know if i'll be talking that much or not and i will just edit this so that it's attached to the other one but if you're watching this you already know it's attached to the other one um so I was talking how thick this black was, that it would be hard to move it, but we're gonna, I'm gonna, I might just pretend that it's not covered in that and do some stuff. We'll see. As usual, I don't, well sometimes I do have a plan, but I don't for this. Uh, there is silicone. No white left. Ooh, isn't that pretty? I like that. Just waiting to see what the paint wants to do.
So this new paint's pretty much just gliding on top of the other paint. It's not going through it because it's so thick. You can see the new paint's just like gliding over it like it's not pretty much may as well be a blank canvas underneath. Just moving it really slow. I'm not torching it because there's areas where the white is a slight film over the other colors. There's something in there. And if I torch it, it's all going to get ugly um, white. It's just going to look like foam all over it. metallic in the black because you see just a hint of it. Just making sure all the sides are covered. <laughs> Cup's still pretty cool looking. better than before. So thanks for watching. Bye.